Hey, Nico. Hey. Come in. Thank you. Lay off that stuff. Why? Because it clouds your judgment. Not now, it's not the time. Uh, my judgment. Uh, that's a good one. I'm a fool. A drunken fool. Nico's here. We're going to go take care of that guy. I take it you won't be joining us? Make him suffer. People forget pain so quickly. You need to calm down with that stuff. Calm? Why? So I can be like you, Mr. Barbitude? Always so fucked up on painkillers, you don't give a shit? You need to calm down. <laughs> Where would we be now if I was calm like you? Let me guess. In a prison camp in Siberia, or selling hash to tourists in Red Square, or still in the Navy. Which is it today? Be careful, Dimitri. Be fucking careful. You be careful. You're getting crazy. That's the way it works. I'm angry. You're calm. I scare you reason. It works. Yes, but you've angered the wrong people. Blah, blah, too many blah, bodies, blah, too much blah, attention blah, 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 will be blah. dealt with if we don't start playing by the rules. I've angered people. Me? Not we. Strange. When I give out... We're going to that sex shop on Hof Beach. This guy been making porno in his basement, and he didn't cut Mikhail in. The least he could have done is sent over some tapes. You know how much money there is in selling this stuff online? A whole fucking heap. We're going to ignore what Mikhail said and try not to kill them. Taking a bite of this pie would be very profitable for our operation. I got no problem with sparing some lives. No, it's Mikhail that has that issue. Can't keep his finger off of the triggers. Wasn't always like this, though. Things got to him. I hope it don't get to me. Where's your boss? What do you mean? He's, uh... In the back? No, 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 he's... You better not be filming. Uh, no, they're just having a meeting, I swear. Get out of the way! <clears throat> Fuck. You see? They don't make them like that no more. That's a vintage bush. If it wasn't for that, I'd say this weren't worth transferring to DVD. Hey, Joseph! You think you can expand your business interests, make these pornos and sell them, whoa, and whoa, we won't know about it, we huh? We just wait until the uh, books was closed at the end uh, of the financial year. Then we was gonna cut you Your in. books are closed until you pay us our cut. Nico, take this and cover Joseph. We ain't making that much cash. Is that a fact? Maybe we can't pop you, Joseph, but we can fuck up one of your boys. Listen, big guy, you got a great look going on. Real strong. We can push in one of our films. Shoot this scumbag in the leg. Hey, man, please, go easy on me. Come on, big guy. Come on, Nico, put a cap in his fucking leg. Brett was just trying to be friendly. Shit, he'll be out of action for a couple of weeks. You got some money for Mr. Faustin? Fine, here you go. We ain't gonna have the re- You should have thought of that earlier. I I'm special, I'm gonna be a star. Don't hurt me, a big, big star. 
Joseph, I thought you were a better businessman than this. We go, Nico. And we're going to an alleyway off of Dillon Street in Chapel. I want to buy you a present. Will you wrap it up and put a pretty bow on it? Screw you. We're seeing a friend of mine who's got a good line on weapons. It's on the ground. A back room place. There are a few around the city. The mayor has a real hard on for gun control. Guns don't seem that controlled. I've seen plenty and I just got here. And now you'll know where to get them for yourself. What's the problem? Mikhail, I know that you don't have to do it. I didn't kill Joseph. We will make more money with him alive. Short Mikhail! Mikhail! Fuck! You're lucky! Roman don't try to make you kill someone every two seconds! The shop is just down that alleyway. Pick out what you like! Tell them to put it on me. All right, you don't look like a cop. Buy what you want. I'll take this one. Charge Mr. Faustin. You fucking Ruskies are milking me dry. I ain't a cow. I ain't Russian. Drive us to Mr. Faustin's. So, you and Mr. Faustin, have you always argued and made up like this? It wasn't always like this. Mikhail was a great man. He had a temper, but he was fair. Now he blows his top at the slightest thing. I never know who he will shoot, who he will stab. Andre, who you met in Mikhail's basement. He was always loyal. He was a good worker. Now he's dead. I guess that, that is why we need your help. Remind Faustin of that. Maybe then he will not try to kill me. Thank you for your help, Nico. Come to see us at the club soon. Mikhail will be cool by then. <laughs> 